Yeah, that sun is definitely out. It's beautiful outside. We're definitely going kayak fishing today, guys. Water's calm, no wind. Yeah, today's the day. After I drop off my son at school, I'm probably gonna cast a net a couple times to try and get us some, hopefully some nice shad. That's what we need. Um, last night it rained a lot, guys. A whole lot, so I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but we're gonna see. All right, I went ahead and got everything together. So when we get back, we'll just head out and my wife decided to drive this morning so hopefully hello. hopefully i make it back safe and sound guys we'll see i don't know let my son say hello chandler you want to say hey you want to say hey you want to say hey what'd you do what'd you do with the sticker baby all right let's go wish me luck guys i got some frozen bait but uh you guys know nothing's better than fresh bait, so I'm gonna cast a net a couple times and see if we can get anything. We'll cast it about, I don't know, five times. Usually I'll catch something like right away. So that's not a good sign. There's actually a little bit of wind out today, which is kind of good. All right, nope, no bait. We got a yellow perch to put him back. Nope. All right, we're gonna give up. Let's just use the frozen bait, guys. All right, let's go. we can do good like we did last video that was a good session guys if we can do that again I'll be pretty happy as long as we don't get a skunk we'll be good we don't want no skunks all right so it's a little windy so if the audio is kind of iffy sorry about that but we're gonna fish kind of where we fished last time the last video because I look at it like this if you're catching fish in a certain spot all the time, which I catch fish in this cove all the time, there's a reason for that. So we're not going to switch up spots today. We're just going to fish this little area right here, just like last time at about 14, 15 feet. Um, we'll soak baits for an hour. If we don't get any bites, you know, maybe we'll move. I don't know. You know, fish, they... They do their own thing. Sometimes they switch spots, obviously. So we'll see, but you know, if I'm catching fish at a certain spot all the time, there's definitely a reason for that. So we're not going to do too much traveling around here. We're just going to spot lock in this little area right here. Water did go down just a little bit. Usually this spot would be almost 15 feet but it's hitting about 14, 14.2 14 feet right now. So it's down just a little bit. So that could make or break our trip. We have the teaser fly on all my rigs. So it's a Carolina rig, um, eight ounce sinker, swivel, 10 knot, mustad circle hook right there, wide gap. I love the wide gaps. And then we got the teaser fly at the bottom. So there is current right now. So what's going to happen is, yeah, these flies are going to be down there just swaying like a little bait fish behind my chunk bait right there. So I still got that shad from our last trip. So, I mean, they've been on ice for, I don't know, a week and they're still, they're still good, nice and firm. 
Um, yeah, we'll do we'll do all shad first. I got some white perch in there too. Good size white perch. Water temp is 48. I'm on a fillet. Like just a little bit of shad for this for the teaser fly. Because I figured why not? I won't hurt anything. Let's put a little bit of meat on there. I mean it's, it's a hook soaking, so why not? Alright. It won't hurt nothing. If anything will help us. Alright, first bait going down. Uh, back rods are gonna be shad head. I totally jinxed myself at that other spot over there. Um, so we moved down a little bit. But we have a lot of marks down there. A whole lot of marks. We're at about 15, 16 feet right now. Um, so we'll see what happens. I just got here. We're in like this little cove area right here. But there's, there's a, a lot of marks down there. So we'll see if they're catfish or not. Guys, we're hooked up. Let's, yeah, we got them. Nice. First fish. Come on. Hopefully we can land them. Oh, it's just a little channel. That is a little channel, man. Yeah, he went for the teaser fly. That's a little baby, man, but we got the skunk off the boat. A little baby. He went for the teaser. Um, I put a little piece of filleted shad on there, so, I mean, hey, no skunk. <laughs> just a little old channel, that's all you are. You couldn't be just a little bit bigger, huh? There it is, y'all, just, just a little thing right there. Alright, I'm, he's not, I'm not even going to put, put him up on the front camera, because, I mean, look at him. Super small. Alright, bud. Yeah, hopefully all these marks aren't little channels. That would suck. I want to catch a big blue. Oh, right here, guys. Right here, right here, right here. We're hooked up. Yeah, that's another small one. That's another small Well, I mean, he's pulling. He's pulling. He's not bit. Oh, that's a... Well, <laughs> that's a that's a channel. That's a good size channel though. He went for the Yeah, he went for the head section. Nice. That last fish we caught, I mean, we can only go up on size from there. I mean, that thing was small. This is a little better. Nice, we got him though. Yeah, I'm that that first fish, I was a little embarrassed to be honest with you. Yeah, I'm telling you, these marks right here, those are fish. And I'm, I'm taking a good bet that they're mostly catfish. Whether they're these channels or blues or whatever, those are catfish right there. And guarantee it. All right, y'all. That's the second fish right there. Nice channel. Uh, first fish, I mean, it got the skunk off the boat. It was small, but yeah, that's a little, that's a little better right there, so. Like I said, we're sitting at about 16 feet, 15 and a half feet, and from my fish finder, there's there's lots of fish down there. Whether they're hungry or not, we're gonna find out, but we got we got two so far, so there you go. All right, buddy. Go tell all your blue catfish friends to come over here. We don't want you channels. Yeah, I got some white perch right here. I might go ahead and cut him up and we might use them here in a little bit. We might use them. I mean, if they're biting shad, we might just still use shad, but I mean, there you go, guys. White perch is good too. All right, y'all, we're gonna move down a little bit more because this wind is killing me. I'm getting super cold, man. Right here, y'all. Right here. I think he's got it. Does he have it? Yeah, we got him. Yeah. He's small. Oh, there we go. We got him. Yeah, he ate the teaser. <laughs> we got him. Yeah, so what I did was 
I am definitely shielded from the wind right now. There's like a ledge or a drop off right here. It's like seven feet and then it drops down to 14 and a half, 15 feet right here. And I'm shielded by all this stuff right here. So there's like almost no wind and I'm not that cold. So I'm gonna sit here for a little bit because I was freezing down there. There he is. I mean, not a big one, but it's a fish. Sweet. All right, buddy, I'll catch you next time. Well, y'all, looks like we're running out of time here. I've gotten uh, a few dink taps. But that's about it. We caught those, what, three channels. And that's about it. Uh, we'll give it here another hour. It's kind of, it's, it's pretty cold, I'm not going to lie. It's pretty cold. Uh, so we'll, if we don't get any more fish, we'll just head back and we'll call it a day. Here, guys. We're hooked up. Oh yeah, it's a good fish, I think. Uh, maybe not. Well, yeah, it's a good fish. Oh yeah, blue. Nice, man. He went for the stinger. Nice, he went for the teaser fly. Yeah, I saw my graph right here. I was like, oh, that's a, that's a good fish. As soon as I saw that, this back rod just went wham. So nice, man. That makes me happy. And I was about to end the video too. So we might sit out here for another 30 minutes. I don't know, but I am freezing, y'all. I am super cold. Let's get him up. Uh, all right, we got him. Yeah, he ate the um, the teaser fly, man. I had a bluegill on this top hook right here. There is a, a whole bluegill on there. I cut some slits on the bluegill. But um, he went for the, the teaser fly. So yeah, there we go. There's another one on the teaser. Oh, 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 oh. Hold on. All right, y'all. We got us the first blue of the day. Yeah, that wind is... That wind's pushing, man. And I'm cold. I was about to end the video too, but first blue, another fish. Um, man, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm cold. I might have to end the video now. Um, all right, well, there you go, guys. We'll let them go. I uh, appreciate y'all watching. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. I appreciate it, but I, I'm headed home. It's cold, man. I'll catch y'all next time. I'll catch you next time.